Welcome everybody to one hour of miniature goodness. Uh, please just check that the sound is working for me, please. Uh, tonight we have some dragons. Um, and what we're going to do tonight is I'm just going to do some nice little clay, clay basin for these dragons. Uh, using some uh, nice bases. We got the old base boss bases. These are absolutely beautiful for any of your miniatures. So hello to everybody in chat. We have Scorplat, uh, Bull GM, Michelle, Casper Kenobi, Gareth's in the house, Easy Fish in the house, <laughs> um, Mokai's in the house, uh, and Bull GM. I think I just said that one before. <laughs> Uh, welcome, welcome everybody. So, quite a simple little show tonight. I just want to get on with some basing work. So I thought I'd show you guys how I'm going to base these little miniatures. Which I shall try and get some focus in on the table. There we go. Now this is the, Di the Diablos, I think the correct name for this one is. Um, again, a beautiful Reaper miniature. we got three of these. Now, I had um, Scorpla uh, undercoat all these miniatures for me. Uh, she did these over the weekend. We used painting to... Thank you for subscribing, Corey. Um, we did some painting together over the weekend. And while I was painting your miniatures, um, um, she decided she would help me and paint these dragons with the different colours. So we've got all the purples, the red and the green. Now, of course, she um, needed some paintbrushes. So I gave her one of my paintbrushes, which I've been using for years on the show regular. And um, so she was using these brushes to do all the undercoating. And um, once she'd finished doing the undercoating, I said to, I said to her, could you um, please uh, do some more undercoating? Because it needs to be a more um, flat finish and not so miss, miss, you know, miss, missing parts like she's done on the wings here. Now, I'm not having a pop at <laughs> my, lovely, my lovely Claire. But I need to tell you this because I found it very funny because she used this brush, which, like I say, I've been using for years on my shows um, and for all my painting. And she goes, it was not me. There must be something wrong with the brush. It was not me. There must be something wrong with the brush. <laughs> and I was like, OK, then. So, how, I mean, there's no way, like, there's no way I could possibly complain of my dear Scorpla. Um, but um, I found it hilarious and we both rolled around laughing um, about <laughs> what she said. Um, so, <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use these bases here. I think these are 120 or 130 millimeter round base boss bases. <laughs> I think um, I think the fact that my partner Claire, oh, Scorpio, should I say? Um, thank you for subscribing, Ty. I think it's beautiful that she actually wants to paint miniatures with me. Um, I mean, to, to actually find a partner in your life who enjoys spending time with me or another person who's a painter, a miniature painter. I mean, a lot of um, partners, men or women, would find a boring thing to do but um, the fact that she wants to paint these miniatures with me is an absolute joy um, and while this um, COVID has been going on um, it's been difficult for many many relationships I know that um, 24 hours stuck in the house um, tests any relationship um, so the fact that we're doing things together um, really does bond the relationship much better through these terrible times okay so as you can see we've got a beautiful base <laughs> ciao <laughs> oh my goodness yeah I, I, I agree I, I am not the best I am not the best partner to live with um, I, I have my moments that's for sure um, but uh, yeah, we, we're, we're doing fantastic. Okay, so these fit on these little bases perfectly. So what we're going to just do is some nice little rock bases. I mean, you've seen me do my uh, air drying clay work before. 
So what we're going to do is just do three separate little quick bases on the show today. Um, we can't do much apart from the actual air drying clay, but uh, you'll get an idea of how quick and easy it is to make your bases look quite cool for your dragons uh, with minimal effort. So we'll just start with the one, we'll take these bases away. Hello Dawn! Hello Rod! <laughs> Right, for the air drying clay, I am using this Fimo, Fimo clay, it's Fimo, Fimo Basic, it's just um, um, a cheap clay, uh, but it uh, is very nice to work with. So I'll just put my little gloves on and we'll make a start. <clears throat> hello Gareth, did I say, did I say Gareth, did I say hello to Gareth? Now I'm super excited at the minute because um, my I was supposed to get a delivery today from Gareth, uh, the, the Star Wars painter guy. Now I haven't received anything yet, um, but he's painting. He's well, he's finished painting the whole Star Wars core set for me. Um, so I'm really excited to get his parcel, um, but of course it hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> so still waiting. <laughs> okay, all we're going to do is going to start breaking off little chunks and stick it to the base. Um, the first one we're going to just go for a rocky base, and you know how much I love my little rocks. So we can do all sorts of work with these. Let me see if we can get the camera in a little bit better. Now, with air drying clay, I'll, I'll keep on repeating myself and... Um, at least you, you'll know what I'm talking about. If I keep on saying the same things, um, air drying clay, of course, takes 24 to 48 hours to dry. Um, once it has dried, actually, I'm taking these off. My, these gloves are making it awful. Right, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get dirty hands today. Um, those plastic gloves um, are, are nice, but they just they stick to the clay. <laughs> it makes it very difficult to work with. Yeah, so it takes 48, 24 to 48 hours for this air drying clay uh, to set. And once it's dry, it does come away from the base. Um, so don't worry about that, because all we do, once it comes away, once it's dry, we stick it back on with some PVA glue, and then we carry on working around our miniature. And this is a super simple way just to add little rocks to your base. Uh, all I'm doing is little balls of clay and we're sticking it onto the base. Um, I'm just going to move this around a little bit. Now the idea of this one is for the red dragon. So this will be a lava base. So what's happening here is I'm keeping the flat part of the base flat and then we'll have little parts of the miniatures here, little bits of the rocks and we'll have it so it's just enough room to have a lava flow going through the rocks. So we'll have all lava going in between all the rocks. What I'll do is next Monday, on the next uh, Reaper show, is I will show you how to do water and I'll show you how to paint the lava effects for these bases. Um, so today we'll just get the air drying clay part done and then I can show you how to do that part next week. Very, very simple. Again, now I'm going to dip my little tool here into some water and we're going to start smoothing the rocks out and giving them a little bit of shape. And this will get rid of all your little fingerprints as well. And here we'll, there we go, put, some, put it on here. Sometimes a little support on the base there just so it helps you to grab the base. What I'm just using is a little, little lid. And if I put my base on top of that lid, it gives me much better. I can actually move it around a lot more easier.
All right, so for the red dragon, we are going for a lava fire base. Um, for the green dragon, we'll go for a more uh, vegetation uh, scenic woodland type base. And then for the purple dragon, um, I'm not sure. So what, what do you think the type of base I should do for the purple dragon? Any ideas? Anybody? I mean, red's easy enough. Fire dragon, lava base. Uh, purple, though, I'm not sure. Ice, ice dragon. Hmm. Yes, ice. Crystal dragon. Desert dragon. Magic mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Fairy, fairy theme. Hmm. Cotton balls as a purple gas. Hello, Renegade Shank. <laughs> Fungus. Okay, well, there's been more people wanting. I could definitely do some, um, like, mushrooms, that's for sure. Okay, okay. Now when we're doing rocks, we are just trying to um, smooth off the edges and leave a few angles on the rocks. This is a very simple thing to do. I mean, you've seen me just do this type of thing before. Um, it always looks, always looks like, oh, he's just dumped clay down. Um, but once you see it all finished and painted up and the sculpt's finished, um, you, you, you know that uh, these rocks always actually look like rocks by the time they're finished. Um, but never be put off by when you first start doing something. Um, just keep going and you'll find that uh, the base will end up looking absolutely fantastic. And... In my mind, as you all know, having a very nice looking scenic base on all your miniatures is just as important as having a beautiful paint job on your miniatures um, because it just adds so much more to that base um, and just gives character to your miniature and it tells the whole story itself. By doing a lava base you're telling that story of where that dragon is at that time if i did a dragon in, in a dungeon it would be oh he's in a dungeon you know it just it just adds a little bit more to the scene and where we are in our story if it's in dungeons and dragons or pathfinder or anything like that it's all about the base hello james and nafe's in the house <laughs> okay then um let's see um if you want um the free mini for today um uh, just type in uh chat i want a free mini and claire will add you to the list for the draw the spinny wheel. I want a free mini. Woo! <laughs> now, I don't know if anybody has seen my post about my 50th birthday. Um, on my 50th, on July the 7th, um, I will be doing a special, a very special um, show. It won't be on my normal day because my birthday falls on Wednesday. So it will be Wednesday, the 7th of July. Um, I shall be giving away 50, 50 miniatures. <laughs> they I want 53 minis. <laughs> so um, it will be it will be to celebrate, uh, of course, my 50th birthday, but also to just give a lovely giveaway um, to everybody who supports me. Um, now the giveaway for the 50th birthday. 
that's 15 miniatures and that's going to be available to every single patron that's including my one dollar patrons as well as um so if you're a one dollar patron um you're going to get a very very you could get a very very special miniature uh, posted to you um it all depends on the wheel of pain <laughs> Now, I mean, you only you only fifty once, so uh, I won't be doing it uh, when I'm fifty. I won't be doing another fifty giveaway when I'm fifty-one. So uh, why not? So it's only, it's only once in a lifetime you're fifty. So um, you get to a stage where it's like, ah, who cares anymore? <laughs> A fifty-foot mini. <laughs> Well, I think um, this is coming up my fifth year in business now. Uh, so in September, in, in, I think it's August or September, I'll have five years, uh, five years self-employed uh, as a professional miniature painter. Um, and they do say that most businesses, if they are going to fail, um, it's normally within the first three years of business. So I've actually made it to five um, and I'm still doing okay, uh, which is incredible seeing that uh, Patreon is my source of income. Um, yes, I'm making a little bit of pocket money on um, Twitch, that is for sure, and, and that's unbelievable. But um, it really is amazing that I've managed to get to my fifth year in, as a small business. Okay, so there's me, I'm chatting away and I'm not showing you what I'm doing. Okay, so there's my little rocks. There's not much to show you there. Now, what I'll do next week is this will be all dry. And next week, I will come back and I'll show you how to paint that lovely lava flow going around all the little rocks. Now, that'll, that'll be good fun and that'll be awesome. And what we'll do is we'll have the dragon then on top of the rocks like so. Yes, I, I, I know with the with the with the COVID and so many people uh, have been out of work. Um, it has been very very scary um, work wise for me. Um, so yes, uh, the fact that I've managed to keep keep going is is incredible. Okay, we're going for the green dragon for this one. Like I say, they've only just all the dragons have just been um, primed, so there's no actual detail on the miniatures so far. Um, but we're just getting that an idea. Now this one we're going to probably go for more of a forest theme. Um, so what we got here is we're going to add some flat clay to the base, and then we're going to see about working uh, some texture onto the floor. Now, if I had some twigs, I could actually add some kind of twigs and effect. But what we can do is kind of, we can mold a few types of twigs into the clay. Again, we'll have a few little rocks going around the woods. Just a little, just a couple, a little couple of rocks here and there. Leaves and twigs, yes. Tiny rocks. Yes, swamp is good as well. We could have gone swamp. See, there's hundreds and hundreds of ideas you could do, isn't there? Once you start thinking about it. Gonna roll this little bit out here. Just roll in a little sausagey bit. Get some idea of where my dragon's gonna go. Let's 
so. And we're just going to add, start adding some little twigs there. Just cut through this bit here. Flatten that in down. Now with air drying clay, you can't go too you can't go too thin um, because you does have a high chance of breaking. I'm trying to make my own little twigs. Normally I'd just use twigs from, um, you know, go for walks with Bonnie. But what we'll, what we'll do is we'll just add a few parts here and then we can just work our way with um, some sculpting and add the effects. Join the goblin army, yay! <laughs> Looks like a flat turtle. <laughs> Oh turtle roadkill. <laughs> see, that's all I can see now is a dead turtle. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, so you've got a very, very simple little build in the middle there. And our little miniature will just go above it like so. So we can start working on there. Again, we're just going straight into the water. And what we're going to do is start smoothing everything off first. And then we can just push it in together. And just move our rock off. It just shows how, just by using clay and all sorts of things like this, um, it, you can do anything you want with your bases. It really is good fun. Thank you for the cheers. I'm starting to understand what all the hype trains are now. Um, I mean, I've been, I've been. This is my ninth month as a Twitch streamer now. Nine months I've been doing this. Um, it's, uh, it's still new. To, it's still, it, I still don't understand all the technical things. <laughs> Okay, let's get the end there, so the cut off part of the tree. I'll just smooth that off there. So these are just some little branches laying, laying around. Now, we are painting all this, so you don't have to go into high detail, but what you're trying to do is get um, a, an image of when you see the base, you'll know exactly what it is you're looking at um, once you see it. Um, and painting really helps that show up a lot more. Okay, so what we're going to do now with the bark is we're going to start going down with the tip of our and just start adding some little lines going all the way down for the bark. Now we want quite wavy lines. Uh, you don't want them all straight and the same. You want to have a little bit of play in that in the lines for your tree bark. I 
as long as you keep everything moist, as long as you keep everything moist, you'll be able to work through the clay very, very easily. I absolutely love playing with clay. I can spend all day long just making things with clay. Um, little houses and bases, all sorts of items that I can use with my miniatures. I mean, you see now how simple it was to do this. All I've done is I've rolled out little sausages. And all I'm doing is adding some little wavy lines to make it look like bark and once that's painted once that's painted dry brushed given a little ink wash it will look absolutely fab and it's all it's cost me is a little bit of time and a little bit of clay The key is to, like I say, keep water, keep water on, on here. I'm using a little bit of tissue to take the excess water off, but that's always moist. <laughs> I'm going to say moist all the time. It's all <laughs> um, We just make sure that it's um, never dry then. That's a better word to, to come out of my mouth. And we just flatten this end off a little bit here. And we'll do the same with the little twigs here. <laughs> oh my god, look at them all. <laughs> I'm keeping the clay very moist. <laughs> oh, okay. Again, just add it. <laughs> They're making me laugh and making my, making my lines go extra wobbly. <laughs> Okay, we just keep on going on our little lines. On the little little twigs, we're just going a little bit lighter with the lines. And we're just um, edging off the ends to make them look more like pieces of wood. Yeah. And the same on this one, more water, keeping it all moist. Just working the tool into the moist areas. Thank you for subscribing, Crip Monkey Studios. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. <laughs> Good. So. We have our little trees. I don't, I, you can see it. In fact, there we are. So. so as you can see, we've added some lovely little barking effects. Barking? Woof, woof. We've added, <laughs> we've added some lovely bark effects to, <laughs> to our little fallen logs and some little twigs there. Like I say, our green dragon will be going 
inside here, like so. I won't put him on. <laughs> I have. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to start adding um, some ground foliage. And what I've got here is a little big pointy stick. Again, I'm going to moisten the stick up. And we, all we're going to do is we're going to start imprinting around certain parts of the... <laughs> we're going to start imprinting. I can hear Claire dying in the background there laughing. <laughs> we're going to start imprint, imprinting around uh, by doing this. What we're given is a, like an, um, a mold effect or some grassy effects, uh, which we can then dry brush over with um, browns and greens. So we can get a bit more focus. There we are, that's a bit better. So what we're doing is we're just working, working our brush and making some nice texture, just in certain areas. Um, what, Cause what will happen is I shall add a layer of sand for texture as well but by doing this we're adding a little bit more um, heavier texture um, and I've tried this before and it works really nicely it looks really nice once it's uh, been finished and dry brushed and we just add it to certain parts I'm trying to work it as fast as I can, Michelle. <laughs> oh my God, Dawn. <laughs> Yes, um, the, the correct tool for the job is key, the most important part of <laughs> is the key to the most important part of doing this. Um, um, you paint brushes wise and um, for, for anything paints, um, once you find the correct tool for the job, you can't go wrong. See, you guys are all making my words come out wrong now. <laughs> well, like I say, I'm the, um, I'm al <laughs> I'm almost fifty. So, if I don't know how to use my tool correctly by now, then I've got a serious problem. <laughs> at my at my age, I should be a master of using my tool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I give up with all of you. I missed this little twig, look. A little flat twig. I'll just do this one. So as you can see, we've got a nice little bit of bark going there. Um, all the space here, this will be covered in sand now, once this is dried. And then there'll also be sand added to the outside of the base. Then we can have the dragon on top. This will all be look painted up beautifully. The rocks will be painted up in their gray, gray, grays uh, with their mold as well. Um, and then, of course, um, we'll add some a little bit of grass then we'll add some leaves um, and it just uh, will look absolutely fab as a base once you're finished 
but it just proves how quick and easy um, you can make lovely little bases very simple for your miniatures okay so let's move on to the last base so we got one rock base one little woodland base looking very nice indeed and the last one what was we going to do was it mushrooms was we was we talking mushrooms for the last one mushrooms yes mushrooms now i have i will be doing a show um a youtube show um uh, because I've been sent um, a whole box of different types of mushrooms um, and I'll, do, I'll be doing a special show um, on these mushrooms for your bases um, but that'll be for um, a, a YouTube video I might actually do it on one of my Twitch shows um, if I'd thought about it I could have actually done it for today as well um, but what we'll do is we'll make some little mushrooms um, and we'll make a little mushroom base using the clay today but I will show you this uh, company who has sent me some beautiful fungi um, and it all goes for all your bases and all your basin needs. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, right there. Okay, so mushrooms. Mushrooms are very similar to the trees we just done. What we'll do is what we can do is we've got enough clay here what we could do is a fat ass mushroom in the middle <laughs> a fat ass mushroom in the middle um, and then we could have the dragon maybe on top of the mushroom the dragon on top of the mushroom lid and then little mushrooms going around the base that would that sounds cool to me so what we need to do is Again, we want it quite thick and heavy because it's going to be taking a lot of uh, support and weight of the dragon. Uh, so the actual first part will be a very thick base. Let's get some focus. Excuse this. There we go. Focusing. There we go. So what we'll do is we'll just work our way and make a big fat mushroom. And don't get any ideas while I'm doing this, guys. Right. <laughs> I don't know where I should do mushrooms now. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if I've got enough clay. Here we go. Um, right, okay. What we'll do, to make, the, to make the mushroom top, we're going to make a ball. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> I'm scared to make the tip now. <laughs> oh, there we are, yay! <laughs> okay, we've made a ball. So all we do is we... <laughs> we just... What we do is start pushing it down. Again, this is going back to my cooking days, making dough balls. So what we're doing is just pushing it around using the palm of our hand. A bit like making bread as well. And what we're doing is making that into a nice big round blob of clay. There we are. So this will be our top. And that will go on like so. Hello, Mr. Mushroom Man. Now, with this type of mushroom, we need to let this set. 
Now, what we need to do is support underneath. But at the minute, it's fine. I just wanted to show you how simple it is to make a big mushroom top. We've got, there we've got the base mushroom top. And what we can do now is start making little mushrooms around the base. <laughs> now, for the base, I'm going to take this top off so I can see what I'm doing. And uh, you can see how that works. And we're going to start working our way around. And what we can do is finish off this sculpture on, of the bottom. Gotta be careful. Uh, I got some dry clay bits there. Go away. <laughs> I have to say, I absolutely adore everybody. Uh, coming on chat and making me laugh um, and bringing a smile to my face uh, it's uh, it really is really nice <laughs> right for the stem again we're going for a bit like the tree but we're going deeper in we're just going to keep on going with lines and we're just going to work our way around the stem of the mushroom I mean, you're not going to see a lot of this detail once the mushroom lid is on. But it's always nice to have some detail there. Well, today has been the third day, the third day I've had my Harley Davidson back from the garage. And so far it's been the third day I've had the Harley Davidson back and it's rained for the third day. So I still haven't been able to go out on my Harley Davidson since I've had it back from the garage, which kind of sucks. <laughs> mm. There's loads and loads of different ways you can do things, Dawn. Um, I'm just I'm just quickly showing a quick a quick way to do this. Now, also, um, you're talking about how to dry things. When you're doing small things like the twigs, um, see here on this base here. If I did this clay any thinner than this, you got a very very high chance of it cracking. Now to stop cracking in fine detail work, what you do is you cover your clay in a damp tea towel. Um, not a moist tea towel, a damp tea towel. Now what happens then is if you keep that clay covered in a damp tea towel, um, it will still dry out, but it'll, it'll double or triple the length of drying time. Um, and the slower your clay dries, the less chance you have of that clay cracking and um, so just by adding that um, damp towel over your clay you can actually do more finer miniatures with your clay um, and it'll stop the chance of it uh, cracking once it dries especially if you're doing trees uh, little, little branches and things And like I say, what I'll do is next, on the show next Monday, next the, the Reaper show next Monday, I'll show you um, how I got on with these bases. And I'll show you how I paint up these bases on the next show. Um, and that'll be good fun too. Because um, I know I know a lot of you want to see how I paint my lava effects. So that'll be good for you. Lots of good, fun, exciting stuff. And to be honest, 
doing the clay work, like you, as you know, is something I really love doing anyway. Um, like I said, I can spend hours playing with clay. Don't forget to um, say I want a free mini if you've just joined and you're on one of my painted tiers. Okay, let's get the stems done for the little mushrooms dotted around. <laughs> so we've got another little teeny meeny. What we're going to do is going to start rolling this out into nice uh, smaller pieces. Now, we're going to keep it not too thin. Uh, we're just going to... With clay, there's a certain uh, there's a certain level you can go to where you can guarantee it's going to be okay. Any any thinner, and unless you use that um, uh, damp towel technique I was just talking about, you will have a very high chance of it breaking. So all we're going to do now is we're going to start off cutting off little bits. We've got little little pieces here. These are going to be the stems of our mushrooms going around. Or our fungi, fungi. They don't have to be all even because uh, it's going to be all over. So we'll just do a few. Now, what we need to do now is add some water uh, to all the parts we want to stick. So all I'm going to do is add some water to each bottom and stick that onto the clay, like so. What you're doing is you're making a paste with the clay and that acts as your gluing agent. So the water acts as the glue and we just keep that nice and moist and <laughs> moist again and we just stick that onto the clay add in some water again sticking it onto the clay Just check for size here. Okay. So one or one one or two more, and that should be about it for this side. Okay, a little bit more. This is there. I think what we're going to do is have the we'll have the mushroom kind of roof. We'll keep that mushroom roof going down the, the back so we got a bit more open on the front here. There we are. So we'll keep it going back a little bit like so and I'll stay like that okay so now we need to make the little mushroom tops for this little mushroom apartment let me see one second that's excuse me mumbling away I'm thinking while I'm working here and I'm blah 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 now I'm trying to work out how it would look best for the dragon now the dragon will fit nicely on the roof like so. Uh, so once that's dry, that can be glued onto the roof of that mushroom there. I think that'll look fab. Uh, but what we need to do as well, we need to su support 
these areas here and these areas here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a couple more couple bits of clay. Um, these will be kind of hidden once it's painted. But what we can do is we can put that underneath. And that will support the, the sides of the mushroom. Get some zoom again. There we go. And we'll do it on the other side. This makes quite an intricate little base, but again tells another little story. Um, and, and having that dragon on on the top will just work a treat. It'll absolutely look fantastic. So we're just going to lift that up there. And that supports that side. So we've got our big mushroom top which will be big enough to support our large dragon now and all we need to do now just to finish off this little base is add our little mushroom tops to these little toadstools and fungi and to do that what we do is we double up on our thickness with what we just done Hello, Grey Raven. <laughs> Thank you, Tao. <laughs> so we've got the double sized top there. And all we're going to do with this is we're going to cut it like cheese and make some nice little. I'm just using a little craft knife to cut the food this one. And we just make her uh, quite quite thin. Now again, we need some water on this, and this will be our little tops for our mushrooms. Go. So we've got little slivers like so. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to compress these. Um, if we can see them on camera, that would have been good. There we go. So we're just going to compress these down a little bit. a slight bit of making them a little bit rounder but it doesn't matter because toadstools and mushrooms they're not all perfectly round um, so we'll just keep that like so okay, how many more we got one two three four just a couple more um, there we are Okay, so to add the mushroom tops again, we're adding water to the tops of our mushrooms. This is just to bond. And we'll add a little bit to here. And then we'll just stick that to the top of our little mushroom. Give it a tiny little push down. Oh, my mushroom's collapsed. One second, it's a bit too, it's a little bit too wet. <laughs> Oh my God. There we go. Oh, he doesn't want to play. This mushroom doesn't want to play with me. <laughs> I'm going to put this this one on top of the this other other one here. Put some water on top of this one. What it is, it's um. I I need to I need to let it dry a little bit more, but it's fine. I'm just going to try and plonk this on top there. There we go. Same with this one. The fun of doing live streams. The fun of doing live streams. There we go. <laughs> I 
it's it's really it, um it's really easier than it looks when when you're doing something on stream um of course everything's going to go pear shaped <laughs> Uh, because I'm trying to do things in front of the camera, um, my hands are probably shaking a little bit as well. Um, but I think it's looking fab. Um, I think I think you can all see where this is going. Just add a little bit of water. Oops, bang in the camera, and we're just adding this to the last couple of mushrooms. Let gravity to we'll just let gravity do the work with the clay because that will slowly bring the mushrooms down. Yes. Yes, well, there's all sorts of tools. I, I use matchsticks and all sorts of stuff. Um, I wasn't, you have to remember, um, I wasn't planning on making mushrooms today. Um, I, I've just done this because you guys asked me to. Um, so the fact that I didn't have the correct tools for the job, <laughs> I think it came out quite well. <laughs> so there we are. This is our little mushroom. So we've got mushrooms. We've got a mushroom base to go with um, our purple dragon, which I've now got clay all over. Let me just get this out of the way and we can just have a look at the final little bits. So we've got a mushroom, mushroom one for our purple dragon. That'll be fab. Let's move this out of the way. Some tissue. We have a little woodland base for our green dragon. And we have done um, a rock base, which is going to be a lava base for our red dragon. So there we are. Absolutely awesome for today's stream. Three awesome little bases. That will be all painted up on the next Reaper show next Monday. So there we are. Absolutely chuffed to bits with that. I think that looks awesome for tonight's show. So yes, the um, the little the little mushroom one wasn't planned for tonight. Um, so I think that came out fantastic for um, a quick a quick build. Absolutely love it. So there we are, that's been our hour, and it's been a very, very fast hour. Thank you, every single one of you popping on. It's been a blast. I'm loving all the jokes and stuff we play in chat, um, and it really does bring a smile to my face. Um, so thank you all for being so awesome and joining me. I shall be back on, what day are we on? Monday. <laughs> I'll be back on Thursday, and we'll be doing some awesome WizKids miniatures. So... Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful evening and love to every single one of you. So I'll say goodnight for now.